Luca? Yes? Who is my rival? You shall never get that out of me, for love or money. Why? Never mind why. Besides, you would tell that I told you and I should lose my place. No. On the honor of a man who's, well, who's capable of behaving the way I've been behaving for the last five minutes. Who is he? I don't know. I never saw him. I only heard his voice through the door of her room. Damnation. How dare you? Oh, I mean no harm. You've no right to take up my words like that. The mistress knows all about it. And I tell you that if that gentleman ever comes here again, Miss Raina will marry him whether he likes it or not. I know the difference between the sort of manner you and she put on before one another and the real manner. Now listen you to me. Not so tight, you're hurting me. That doesn't matter now. You've stained my honor by making me a party to your eavesdropping and you've betrayed your mistress. That shows that you're an abominable little clod of common clay with the soul of a servant. You know how to hurt with your tongue as well as with your hands. But I don't care. Now I've found that whatever clay I'm made of, you're made of the same. As for her, she's a liar and her fine airs are a cheat. And I am worth six of her. Luca? A gentleman has no right to harm a lady under any circumstance. I beg your pardon. What sort of apology may satisfy a lady? Of what use is it to a servant? Oh, you wish to be paid for your hurts? No, I want my hurt to be made well. How? <laughs> 